Looks like Ice King is up to bad biscuits, brudda. Bad biscuits make the baker broke, bro. That they do, Jake the Dog. That they do. Jake the Dog, voiced by John DiMaggio. John DiMaggio. Why was he important? Oh, yeah. Today, I will be arguing for John DiMaggio as the funniest cartoon voice actor. First claim. John DiMaggio plays a wide range of characters, like a lot. Like, he plays so many, so many different kinds of characters. It gives him a very broad range of humor, in my opinion. See, okay, so in, so in Adventure Time, Jake the dog, as we just heard, he, his character in that show is, is, is more, is more real. He gives more, some more, like, he makes jokes about stuff. You know, it's like, it's not just random, but also at the same time, it's, it's it is a good combination of random equals funny. Another character John DiMaggio plays is Bender, Futurama, uh, who is more, he is more of a crude sense of humor, you know, more smoking, more cursing, more this and that, you know, a bit more lowbrow, in my opinion, you know. Um, personally, I haven't watched a lot of Futurama, but that's what I've seen in the few clips and such that I've watched. A uh, couple of smaller characters, one of the smaller characters he plays in Madagascar series you know, Penguins of Madagascar plays Rico, Rico the Penguin. His whole thing is he throws stuff up, you know, bleh, 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 you know, that's his joke. That's his humor, you know? Uh, yeah. Um, maybe another small character you've heard of is um, Schnitzel from the show Chowder, another character John DiMaggio plays. Uh, he says Rada Rada is his, he can't talk. He says, he goes Rada Rada. Uh, some people describe him as the Squidward of Chowder being that more adult character that you can relate more to when you get older, you know, all this other childish stuff happening all around you, but you know, you still, you'd see it's the adult John DiMaggio plays Chowder and plays Schnitzel and Chowder. So I think that's pretty, you know, broad range broad range of characters to play. Anyway, my second claim that John DiMaggio is, in fact, the funniest voice actor. Not only are John DiMaggio's characters funny, but they also have a, a deep uh, or more of a mentor side. Uh, you know, the most, most apparent example of this being Jake the Dog uh, throughout the show of Adventure Time. <sighs> Excuse me. Jake the dog throughout the series uh, has been – he was a big influence for the other main character, Finn the human, uh, giving giving him moments of advice, words of wisdom and such, you know, stuff like that. Uh, here's a couple clips. Sucking at something is the first step towards being sort of good at something. To live life, you need problems. That's so stupid. If you get everything you want the minute you want it, what's the point of living? Are you listening? Mm-hmm. Your heart may be small, but it's strong as a bulldog. And I know. You can wait through this line so we can meet Hunts and Abadir and find out why we're here and why we're in a pile of bananas. Because you're a champ, okay? Okay. Josu Day, Gamate Ni. Oh, being crazy is hard. You're getting all hung up. All hung up on imaginary problems. You gotta focus on what's real, man. You see this cup? This is literally my favorite cup. <laughs> now it's gone forever, so it's not real, and I don't care about it anymore. <gasps> oh no, my favorite window! Oh. Okay, we're back. Um... So all those clips in juxtaposition of him being, you know, funny, he, he's also a mentor, you know, nice words of wisdom, you know, that you can get without the series. So while John DiMaggio may be the funniest, some may argue that Tom Kenny is another very funny voice actor. He plays, oh God, I mean, he's, he fits the same bill as, you know, he plays a lot of different characters. He plays Ice King uh, in the same show of Adventure Time. Uh, you might know Heifer from Rocco's Modern Life. Um, the Mayor from Powerpuff Girls. 
And here's a little character. I don't think you've ever heard of him. SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. Um, and Squanchy from Rick and Morty. Classic character, Squanchy. But while he may provide the range, he has a broad range of, 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 of vocal talent, which gives, you know, and every character is a little bit different, especially Ice King, you know. I, I mean, Ice King, he's a great character in Adventure Time. Very funny. Um, I don't think he has the same juxtaposition of, of, of personalities as in all of his characters. They're all kind of, I feel like they're all kind of one note, you know, except for Ice King in Adventure Time. Yes, they're very very big arch very big character arc in that show god don't even get me started but all the all his other characters kind of one note throughout the whole series not really giving him any words of wisdom per se uh so yeah no I mean that's that's it really in conclusion John DiMaggio funniest voice actor ever uh, the wide, you know, the wide range of characters he plays, and uh, all of which haven't been mentioned. By the way, I mean, I mean he plays a lot of side characters, but those are like the main ones, really. Um, with a wide variety of characteristics and personalities that each one of those characters have. Obviously, some may argue that other voice actors are funnier, but I argue that John DiMaggio plays the most relatable and all around funniest characters of all time. Thank you.